Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 26. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 26 to 30. Hey, number 26, a fellow YouTuber was trying to do time with the text function. So I have to show you the problem with that. And he said that he found this in Microsoft Help. Well, I guess Microsoft doesn't know everything. Let's see the problem. We're going to use the text function to convert these times to text. By the way, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go control shift tilde just to show you that time is the proportion of one 24 hour day. Control shift tilde gets rid of the number formatting. I'm going to control Z. There it is. There's our times. I'm going to highlight this whole range here and in the cell up in the corner, the light colored one, I'm going to type equals TEX, open parentheses. The value is going to be that and since I want it locked going across the columns but not going down, I'm going to put the dollar sign to lock it going across the columns in front of the A. And then comma and for the text formula, it's going to take a number from here and convert it to text, but it needs to know what kind of format. And you have to put the formatting code in quotes. And here it is, H colon M M end quote. Now, the way you teach yourself the custom number formatting is to go to Format Cells on the Number tab. The very last thing in the list is Custom. And you can actually click on any format and go to the Custom section and look what it is. Hey, this is the format for Show the Hour and the Minutes. I'm going to Control Enter. I'm going to click in the last cell and hit F2, which is the Edit key. I can see that that formula worked. Now, here's the problem. If you try to add these with the Sum function, the keyboard choice shortcut for auto sum is alt equals and then I highlight this notice it's not guessing because it, it knows that this is text and it doesn't like text I'm gonna highlight those and then tab see it doesn't know now I'm gonna click on this cell and go equals this plus this plus this this formula using pluses will see this no way and what is it adding you gotta be kidding me if you don't know time, if you don't know that time is actually the proportion of one 24-hour day, then you don't know what this is. This is actually 24, the number one represents 24 hours, and then 0.125 is like a couple, an eighth of a day or something like that. Uh, I'm going to click here. The way you would convert this to total hours is equals the proportion of one 24-hour days, which is obviously more than one 24-hour day, times 24. Enter, and it's 27 hours. So um, if, in fact, this is in Microsoft Help, um, you can see there's a big problem with it here. If you're um, using the sum function, the plus, plus, plus can get around it. But that has its own problems, because if you inserted columns, that formula wouldn't update. As always, the best way to do time is equals the time times 24. Control Enter, and then Control Shift tilde to get rid of all the formatting. Control 1, all I did, all Control Shift tilde was get me to the n general number format. Click um, close there, and then Alt equals, and that's how you would do it. That's the most efficient way to do time. All right, text. Don't bother with text because there's problems. Text function with time won't work in all formats. All right, see you next YouTuber. Love Excel.